Hello everyone, Wookie here. Um, so this was supposed to be the last of the Grind and Talk videos, uh, but something happened. I lost all the grind footage, and since it was 25 minutes, I could never get back of like heroes grinding. Um, it's where I was able to finally token a wig of my pecan, um, but that's lost. So inst I can't uncork the genie from the bottle. And now that something new is out to grind, I don't really, I can't really, Heroes Event is gone is also, I think. Anyway, this is my very rambly for a 5am way of saying, um, the following footage has no gameplay. It's just me talking to the Mew Mew Force. Um, it's really all I got. So, uh, it's pretty enjoyable. I like it. I like us talking. So if you want to have 25 minutes of just us talking, there you go. I also put a little whooper in the front. So you can enjoy that whooper for the entire video, if you so please. But, um, yeah. Uh, so enjoy the video. I'll let Wokey take it from here as he says, grind and talk when there's nothing to show for the grind. Again, sorry everyone. Till next time, goodbye. Hello everyone, are you ready for another fucking adventure? I'm here once again with the Mew Mew Force. I'm here with Captain Soldier 76. Woohoo! And Jace. What up? And we're back for another grind and talk. The, there is never ending Dokkan grind, and I've been lazy because I haven't been doing it for a week because I've been working. So <laughs> that's why there's a lot of videos like this. Uh, people like Dokkan videos regardless, so I hope you're enjoying this. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the conversation. Let's get into it as I grind in the background. So how's it going, everyone? I'm back. Hey. Hey, so how would you feel if... uh? Wokey, how would you feel if someone, from all the information that we just gave in the past couple episodes about where you live and what you do, specifically events that you go to, like, let's say, Anime Expo or something like that, if someone did deduce who you were and they came up to you and they were like, yo, are you Purple Wokey? How would you feel? I feel like that. If they, if they, I have to say the jig is up and then I'd have to shake their hand. I'm not actually a whooper. Uh, because I just don't. <laughs> They're like. Can you imagine the dumb frown look they, they would have on their face when they they picture a whooper, this tiny ass whooper tadpole. Yeah. <laughs> you have to look. You have to look down and look at it or talk to it, and it's just not that. You have to look up. It's Here's hilarious because your... we know what he looks like, and then I could just imagine him just like ripping off a whooper mask. <laughs> 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 I'll, fuck, I'll, I'll do what I've always wanted, which is the, what they do in wrestling, where they take off their shirt to reveal a new shirt and it has a picture of a whooper on it. <laughs> it's like, it is me. Uh, I don't know how I'd feel uh, people finding me in real life, this is, which is the reason why I also have not shown my face. Here's the fucked up thing. My brother and sister don't do the same, so they can find me. Oh, but also, I've never actually put pictures of me out there because I don't have many. If you realize this, as because uh, you two, um, you guys actually have access to my real life Facebook. If you re if you look at it closely, there's maybe at at most one picture, and even then, I'm in the background. There's never actually yeah. a full on my face will look of it ever. Yeah. Pretty sure there's also like a picture of you that is drawn. That is yeah. the only picture that comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, it, it that one was drawn by Jace, which is one of my favorite uh, uh, pictures, which is from uh, one of our many hangouts slash meetings <laughs> where I said uh, I said a very specific phrase to him <laughs> as I was learning how to eat something for the first time. And you were learning how to eat a s'more. I was learning how to eat a s'more, <laughs> and I think oh, I think as. We were at like a Korean barbecue, and you were, you were eating s'mores. And then with the s'more half smushed, it going everywhere, I looked you dead in the eye and said, "I'll be your sh I'm your showrunner." <laughs> something like along the lines of like, "I control your paycheck." <laughs> yeah, something like that. The the future of you put all your faith into me, and that's a bad thing. <laughs> but uh, the... I think I. I, I think I own more photos of Wokey than there are on the internet. It's true. There's just not that many. And the reason is, is that if, for whatever reason, if I get more well-known and people actually um, find me out in the streets, I just don't know how to react to that. 
I don't know how to. I'm not. The, I'm actually not the kind of person that would be like. I mean, I mean, I'm nice, so I'd say, "Oh, hello. You recognize who I am. Good day to you." But that's it. Uh, that's that's the best I can do. But I'm also afraid of actual human contact. <laughs> he is secretly Batman. I have a picture yes. of him. the The best way I the best way I've ever described it as myself is that I'm a ghost. And for a long time, I was perfectly fine with being an internet ghost, which was someone who did stuff but then never actually got any recognition for it. Uh, I will. I will tell you one of the. So, I've been caught out in public by people who follow my art and my occasional cosplay. Yeah. And. You know, as as someone like everybody else is pretty much goes through life unknown. It is one of the most like nicest feelings when someone recognizes you for whatever fucking reason. And I'm like, oh wow, thanks. Uh, I I was stopped at Disneyland once <laughs> by, by a cast member taking my photo, and they're like, "Are you blah blah blah?" And I was like. E- Yes, and they're like, "Oh, I follow you on blah blah blah." And I was like, "Holy shit, cool!" <laughs> you can tell or, you said, "Are you Jace?" I follow Purple Wookie. <laughs> I love, I love, I love your ass eating video. <laughs> I love Advance Wars Part Three where you talk about eating ass. I Link link below to that video if you want to hear. I'll play it right it. now. I'll fucking play. <laughs> but I get the, you. You were found, and it's it's. I, I assume it's a good feeling, but I also don't know. At the time, it's a good feeling, and then you realize how good other people's memories are because they're way better than mine. Because uh, like, I don't think I would recognize someone at my my level of caliber of internet fame <laughs> um someone on the dream daddy creative team uh, dream daddy the game yeah. recognized me as well and i was like holy shit <laughs> how did you know that and then they were like oh cuz uh you commented on something and i thought it was really funny and then i started looking at your page <laughs> i was like whoa <laughs> yeah. that's uh it's something it's funny because i actually have that experience now where because of the things i do i've actually been able to make a lot of good buddies who are actually well known and do the things that i do but for an actual living and then occasionally <laughs> uh for example uh d free i occasionally go help him on his video like uh doing whenever he needs me to be there in person i'm like i'm not doing anything let's do this and then he's like all right i'm here with my video and i'm here with wokey and then i'll look at the comments and someone will go like oh shit wokey's here and i'm like and they're, they're singing in like a positive way not like not this fucker again <laughs> not <laughs> we let him out but no they're being very positive like oh shit i love this and i was like wow how come you don't comment on my video? You comment on D-Freeze video. <laughs> but I appreciate it a whole bunch. of just like, wow. I've actually shown up in your videos long enough for people to actually know who the fuck I am. <laughs> and he, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a weird feeling. And I've never been able to fully understand it. Especially because as someone who just doesn't want actual in life contact it's so it's so weird to me as i think you've actually told me before it's weird that out of everyone i've somehow have been able to gain a small following yeah i i think it's actually very well i don't think it's weird i think it's very interesting as someone who i would peg in our friend group as um very introverted being extremely extroverted online and just kind of welcoming this entire community under your wing with your presence <laughs> yeah well that no, that's a good that's a I put a big give me a big head but either way it's surprising <laughs> that for the people who actually do follow me and actually watch my stuff it's uh weird to think about because that's not the kind of i remember because we went to college for the same thing and when our uh college uh professor said to us you need to have an online presence 
or else it's going to be very hard for you to get a job anywhere. I literally looked inside myself and said, well, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm packing it up here, boys, because I'm not sharing my anything to anyone. My online presence has um, gifted me with very weird gifts. And I will not go into that as much as I'd like to, because then you could easily figure out who I am. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to blow your cover. You cannot <laughs> figure out who Captain Soldier is. He is that uh, tight-lipped about everything. But, um, I, I mean, have, like... any presents, though, so... Like, compared <laughs> to both of you, I have, like, nothing. Like, yeah, maybe you, I'm it's... trying to grow it, but, uh, I am very... Yes, it's the truth. Captain Soldier 76 is Chris Evans, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta blow up that Chris Evans is from the eyelids, bro. <laughs> Why are you gonna? <laughs> Somewhere in someone's mind, people went, "Hey, that's the wrong Chris. That was Chris Pratt, not Chris Evans." <laughs> <laughs> bum, bum, yeah, it's it's weird, man. Especially because, as I said, when if you if you've known me for anything, and a lot of it also grows from the fact I don't think I've ever told you guys this, just to show you how much I never wanted. A lot of this grows from the fact that, um, you know that thing in 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 a in a um school that says it's better to have something than nothing. An F is still better than a zero. In mm. my mind. It's better for me to have a zero than for you to know I made this. <laughs> so that was what ended up. That. That's what ended up me never turn. I never turned in my uh, like even in elementary school. It's like, uh, Wokey, why didn't you turn in your homework? I'm like, I you know, I did it. I just didn't turn it in. So I did it to myself and then didn't turn it in because I was like, what if I'm fucking wrong? What if five plus four isn't nine? What if it's ten? <laughs> So I had an experience like that in high school. Where, like, I got a big head in elementary school because, like, everything came so naturally to me. Like, whenever we we do problems on the board, whether it be math or English or whatever, it, it would just come like that, like, instantly. So, like, people started calling me genius, and, like, I let that get to me without knowing it because, you know, I was too stupid to understand mm -hmm. that type of train of thought. Mm hmm in elementary school, right? But, like, years later, I understood. I was like, damn, that actually did get to me. So in high school, right, uh, I was put in my first eight, uh, advanced placement class, and, like, it was such a game changer. Like, I was like, holy shit, I'm no longer the smartest person in the room. This is fucking weird. And because of that, because of that sh sudden shock of, like, everyone in here is either smarter than me or just as smart as me, I actually, like, suffered... As far as my as like far as my grade went, because a lot of the class was like a discussion for English. Yeah, and that that was actually my hardest subject. But a lot of the stuff involved in that class was discussing what you read the night before, and I got so quiet. Like I I wasn't a person who talked a lot in general, but in that class I felt fucking dumb as shit. And like one day my teacher she had like this uh not like a progress check, but she kind of like pulled each individual student side for like a lunch meeting and she was like highlighting strengths and weaknesses and she's like yeah the only reason you have a c in this class which to me is bad but i i can see how to other people would be like huh we're doing that bad she was <laughs> like yeah the only reason you're struggling in this class is because you never talk during discussions i was like i don't know how to fix that <laughs> class, class participation yeah how do, I, how do i talk it's like i don't know just start and, saying shit and it's it's basically the same as you. I was like, it's not like math where there is one right answer. It's like you you're talking about like people's feelings and shit, like the motivations and uh, stories that you read. And there isn't a right answer. It's more of just like, hey, you have this opinion, back it up. And like, I just didn't want to share my opinion. I was like, what if it's fucking stupid? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that exact yeah. mindset is why uh, it dogged me throughout everything. It took for me getting into college 
and then having to, finally picking a, a specific job that it would be impossible for me not to actually share it. Like I can't, I wouldn't have been able to get past the first class if I didn't show um, that I was bad at what I did. <laughs> so I learned to eventually just go like, no, what I made is bad. But also if I don't show you, I can't actually improve. So let's, <laughs> so let's do this. Here's my shitty apple. Tell me how to make a better apple. <laughs> and I never learned how to make a better apple. Actually, I did learn how to make a better <laughs> apple. I just don't have the ability to make the better apple. That's the difference. I have to practice at it <laughs> because you can't just immediately know how to fix something. And then I'll go like, oh, this actually is going to take a lot more uh, work and effort I have to put into it. If you're If you're an artist, you will never be able to make the perfect apple no it's a really... funny story <laughs> so my really close friend's brother is a tattoo artist and uh, my friend was getting tattooed at his shop uh not too long ago and he asked if i wanted to go i was like okay i'm down so we get there he comes out of the shop and he asks if i've ever been there before i was like no this is the first time he's like oh you'll like it there's a lot of eye candy in there i was like okay i'm kind of excited and we get in there, and there's just paintings and portraits and, like, all this other artistic stuff in there. It was fucking tight as shit. Like, in school, we went to museums. Uh, some people would look at paintings and be like, I'm fucking amazed and inspired. I'd just be like, oh, cool. The painting. <laughs> like, <laughs> when I went into this tattoo shop. There is these paintings on there, portraits of people. I was like, holy fuck, I've never in my life looked at a painting and it made me think I, I want to get better as an artist. It's fucking wild. That's a really nice story. Yeah. It is really Thank nice. Thank you. <laughs> it was so nice, I didn't feel the urge to immediately detract it. <laughs> so <laughs> I want to give it a minute before I detract from that really yeah. nice story. Let me tell you why Andy Warhol's a fucking hack. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, to get back to the main, main uh, fucking conversation. Yeah. Have you guys ever run into someone that you would consider a carry some notoriety or celebrity that you would like to talk to, but you fucking can't? Uh. I trying to think it's usually when i the diz happened i, I want to say it was like at a given oh you know what this is uh, it's, uh quite, kind of related one time in the in the in the rain when we were at uh college uh we saw craig robinson in uh an atm oh and, word <laughs> yeah and then we looked and we we're like i think that's craig robinson and then we were talking to each other looking at him goes like nah is it he's like no look at me he's like he's like big and he's got that face and then he looked to us and all he saw was four hispanic dudes in the rain watching him <laughs> take out money from an atm <laughs> so he gave us a look of like oh shit and then he immediately got in his car but i was like oh and we didn't get to we were too afraid of the fact of like I'm pretty sure that's Craig Robinson. I was like, oh, shit, we should actually go up and, like, say something. But the situation was too weird. Like, it's raining. He's literally at the ATM. He's going to see us walking towards him in the rain. <laughs> so it ended up being we never, like, I never was able to say yo or something. I feel like, I feel like if I ever ran into a celebrity, which I'm, I've seen a few, but like, I, I kind of think of, like, if I was that guy, would I want to be bothered right now? And I think, I always think this same answer, which is no. My uh, my brother told me because he works at a the State of Bros by my house. Uh, that a um. Oh crap! What was his name? Uh, you know, Mister Mosby from the Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. Yes. Oh yes, yes. Do you remember what his real name is? No. <laughs> it's God not. It. It's not the black guy from Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. That's not his name. <laughs> So, my brother told me that he's, like, a regular customer there. Like, he, probably, he probably lives nearby. Yeah, no, he, he does, but, like... Uh, In a hotel um, being people... uh, accosted by two white kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, people call out to him all the time, but they don't call him by his real name. They call him by <laughs> Mr. Mosby. And, like, my brother said that he gets annoyed by that. I was like, oh, well, 
if I ever see him, now I know. I have to call him Mr. Mosby. But the first thing I think of every time I think of him is the fucking Prindle joke from that episode where he was trying to teach London how to drive. <laughs> oh, to the, this the day. Prindle. Yeah, the Prindle. <laughs> to this day, I still like look at that shit and think the fucking Prindle. <laughs> um, For me, I, I think there are certain restrictions. Like, this is really like a Californian conversation because you 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 go out there into the wild and you will see celebrities of every like level you know whether it be massive star or you know eat like internet personality you will find them Mm -hmm. and um (laughs) i think the restrictions are very particular like if it's a massive star and you know their name, I think it's fine to approach them as long as you're being kind and they're not eating. (laughs) You know, that's the one thing is like, if they're eating or if they're with their family, I will never bother anyone. Oh, also if they're buying comic books. For some reason, I don't, I don't like to stop people when they're buying comic books. (laughs) Phil Phil Lewis is his name, by the way. I just looked it up, but uh, I've, I've heard, unless I've heard, stories about this celebrity i usually just leave them alone like if i heard like if they're really friendly i'll think about approaching him but those are also the celebrities I, that i don't believe live in california <laughs> yeah uh, oh, and and with that we actually have to i have to actually start getting ready to get to the theater so we're gonna have to i was gonna say cut this short but we've been going for about 20 minutes oh <laughs> i tell you when we're just together it just kind of we just i just really like talking to you guys i don't know if you know this but you're my friends and i really like (laughs) (laughs) oh shit that was news to me fuck whoa (laughs) and when you're with your friends you can just literally talk nonstop. (laughs) so hopefully people enjoy this and you'll see us next time for another whatever we decide to do together say goodbye everyone the prindle the prindle